Today we will discuss the shift left support strategy for the help desk. This is brought to you by the help desk management book by Wayne Schlick. Are your help desk support processes still ad hoc? Are you tired of running around putting out fires? Are you ready to take control of your help desk? Together, let's implement powerful industry standard best practices. The wisdom we need is in the help desk management book with almost 300 pages and 29 core topics. We now can take back control of the help desk. Hey everyone, today we're talking about shift left help desk support. What is shift left help desk support? It's where you take work from engineers, IT engineers, developers, and other uh, people, and you move it towards the help desk. You move it to the help desk agents to do the work. That's called shifting it left. You can also move it from the help desk to the customer doing self-service. That's shifting left also. So why do we do this? Well, for a number of reasons. One, it's cost effective. So an engineer could be making $50, $60, $70 an hour. Help desk might make between $15 and $25, maybe a little bit more for someone with a lot of experience. But you can see where you can save maybe half or a third of the cost just by moving it from the engineers over to the help desk. Another reason is to free up the time for the engineers and developers. Instead of all this routine, uh, reoccurring, uh, small issues coming up where they can train the help desk to take it, first call resolution. Instead of that, it goes to these engineers and it takes up all their time. If they can push it back to the help desk, what happens is they have more time for their engineering work or development work, so they're more productive. They actually get all this uh, high quality product out now because they have time to work on it. So we see now that a shift left help desk strategy or process makes good sense. It's cost effective, it's great for the engineers, it's good all overall for the whole IT department. So how do you implement it? Well, there's a number of steps that you can take to uh, implement this effectively. First, step one, you wanna gather the ticket data. So you wanna gather at least six months worth of your ticket data and put it in and export it into a spreadsheet or such. From there, you want to, you're going to start filtering and grouping and sorting. Uh, what you want to do is first uh, eliminate or remove or segment all the first call resolution positive ones. So every, every ticket that was solved on first call, we want to uh, segment that or move it off or take it out of the group. We're only looking for the ones that are escalated to engineers and developers and other second level, third level groups. Next, you want to sort it by categories. So sorting by categories, you can start grouping large blocks. What you're looking for is large trends. So if, uh, if there's a certain call like uh, error code 1283 for this app, is always escalated to the developers. They always fix it and they send it back and it's just something that they can train the help desk on. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for big groups of uh, ticket data where it's similar stuff going over there. Um, not that if it's an individual one, you can't work on it, but what we're trying to do is get a quick win, try and get the, get the biggest ones handled first. So once you uh, get down there, you start identifying these groups, um, what you want to do is uh, prioritize your best candidates. So you go through and you start, you create a column and you want to rank these. Which ones do you want to go after first? It's good to start with candidates with a high volume of occurrence. Uh, start with candidates that have little or no, no additional access rates that are needed by the help desk to process. And also, another good candidate is not overly complex. So what we're looking for is something that's easy for them to take over. We can put a process in place. So what we want to do then is once we have our candidates, we have to validate them and then work with the escalation groups if we can move them. So we'll, what you want to do is identify who owns those tickets now. Does it go to the IT engineers? Does it go to the uh, DBAs? Does it go uh, over to the developers. So what you want to do is meet with those groups and talk about those specific uh, candidate for moving from their group to the help desk and determine if, if it truly is something that can be moved. 
So once you met with the, uh, uh, the escalation group managers, then we can start looking at um, transition them. How do we transition? We come up with a plan. We identify uh, a process of how they should be handled so the developers will create a, a step-by-step uh, process. And then two, um, we'll put that and develop a training plan for the help desk agents. We'll make sure they receive all the access that they need to do this work. Um, we'll determine uh, uh, you know, some codes into the knowledge base and to our categories of you know, making sure that they're flagged as that issue comes in and um, the help desk knows that they should be able to solve that and tie the knowledge into those categories. And then finally, we'll do some reporting on it. So once you go live, you want to make sure you watch it and make sure the agents are able to do it, that they remember that they have, they can solve those one first call, that um, the engineers and developers give uh, some feedback on how the process is going. And then you want to report on what the potential cost and time savings is. Because that's a big win. That's a story to tell. So hopefully this helps. Implement Shift Left uh, Help Desk. If you need more information, go to buildahelpdesk.com where we have an article and we have some support worksheets and other things. Otherwise, uh, check out the, the Help Desk Management book on Amazon by Wayne Schwein. Very uh, detailed information about Shift Left uh, processes. Thank you.